How will the Empire respond to the disappearance of Omega and the Primal? Oh, I didn't see you there. Forgive me. Word from Baelsar's Wall is proving long in the coming, and my mind cannot help but stray to grim places. Alphano, a message from the Alliance. It's about time. Pray summon the others at once. Yes, sir. General Aldin reports that his forces have secured the breach in Baelsar's wall. And what of the Primal and Omega? There is still no sign of either at this time. He writes that they will begin a more thorough investigation shortly. And, as expected, he wishes to petition the aid of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. As expected. The Alliance's decision to capture a part of Baelsar's wall is open to interpretation. The wall serves to demarcate Imperial territory, Alamigo included, from the rest of Eorzea. To an observer, the Alliance's actions could be seen as a prelude to invasion. Indeed. And the Alliance leaders have no wish to be branded invaders. You're saying they won't fight for Alamigo? Even after everything that's happened? Not without the consent of her people, no. Make no mistake, Lise. The Alliance is in complete agreement that the Empire must be purged from Eorzea. However, they will not set foot in Gear Abania until they have formally secured the consent and cooperation of the Alamegan opposition. They would have us act as intermediaries. Precisely. The Scions are uniquely qualified to serve in this capacity. That is to say, leases, given her personal connection to the Resistance. 
Who better than you to broker an agreement between the Alliance and the people of Alamigo? Assuming you are willing, of course. Of course I am! You know I'd like nothing more! As for who should accompany you on said diplomatic mission, I had a mind to volunteer myself. Well, that covers the talking part. But you just know there'll be trouble along the way. Are you available? Look, I know I've kept things from you, and I'm sorry, I really am. But that's all over now, I swear, and... It'd mean a lot to me, having you at my side. I too shall accompany you. Such endeavors are seldom hampered by a surfeit of healers. Good point. Allow me to offer my services as well. I have spent quite enough time here of late, so I'll be coming. But we will need someone to keep an eye on things. I trust you have no objections? None, my lady. Gladly shall I continue to serve as caretaker of the Waking Sands, and there keep watch for signs of primal and Asian activity both. As capable as my learned friend undoubtedly is, there are some troubles that may prove too much for a single scion, on account of which I mean to stay. It is settled then. Let us each see to our preparations. Ready, my friend? Well then, Totoru, I leave the rising stones in your capable hands. Don't worry, Alphano. I'll see that the place is still standing when you come back. Mistress Yishtola has unfolded all. You are bound for Girabanya? Aye. The Alliance would have us make contact with the Alamegan resistance as soon as possible. It begins then. As soon it shall in Doma, if the gods are good. Tis but a pity it must be now. I am sorry that we shall not be present to fight beside you in the battles to come. You have stood with us countless times, Lady Yugiri. Pray do not apologize. Then let us thank you instead. You and yours stood with us from the first, when we came to this land as refugees in search of sanctuary. Loath am I to think what might have become of my people, had you not extended to us the hand of friendship. We will never forget. This I solemnly swear. Much has changed since first you set foot on these shores. Revenant's toll stands as a testament to that. I'm sure your people will manage in your absence. Indeed. They have built a new home for themselves and no longer need me to shepherd them. The time has come for Kosetsu and I to return to our master. To our home. I know how you feel. It's time I went home, too. Though our battlefields be a thousand mounds apart, our purpose is one. That all men hearken to the clarion call of freedom, of liberation, from Eorzea to the Far East, that they may rise up and cast down the curse of Garlemald. Take care, you hear me? 
When all of this is over, we're going to celebrate. Together. Just you wait. I should like that very much. Fare you well. I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow Scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny and the promise of a new beginning, but one that could only be bought with flames and blood.
I remember the old stories. How the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Ralga's Reach, a holy place and a fitting home for the Resistance, for the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there, men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost, for what could be ours again. Allow me to welcome you once more to Raga's Reach, our humble headquarters. My name is Conrad Kemp, and I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. No, no, there's no need for that. They risked their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I... I wanted to... um... I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your loss, child. Papalimo laid down his life to save us. 
to give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. But we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises. Followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. When Monago told us what had happened, how the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual, by Rolger it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done, is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir. To see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Eorzean Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. So that's the way of it, eh? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Of course, Master Kemp. Take all the time you require. <laughs> 